Howdy folks, today I'm going to show you just another way to catch crappie. In my opinion, it's a great way to catch crappie. It's a cheap way, but it is specialized to a certain degree. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, we're right here where there's a school of shad right out here in front of me. I'm gonna make a cast and we'll see if we can catch them. I just hope they're the right size because the right size is in critical. I believe I hit right on top of them. I seen some hit the top of the net. Yeah, I got them. I got them. But see, those are the wrong size right there. <laughs> them are the wrong size. We're looking for those are pretty little gizzard shad, but I'm gonna dump them out. We're looking for small ones, real small ones. Oh, anywhere from two to two and a half inches will work fine. We'll just scout around here until we find some. Because we know they're hereabouts somewhere. What I'm looking for is flip, flipping. I'm looking for the little beady flips like that one right up there. Let me get up there to them. The little bitty flips. Now if he'll come up there and do that again, but I believe it was about right in there. Maybe I hit him lucky. Maybe they didn't move. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, I hit them lucky. That size right there will work fine. All right, let's dump them in here and see what we can do right here. Okay, let's go on over to the dock and I'll compare this shad right here, which is not too big of a shad for crappie. Crappie I take a lot bigger bait than what you might think. And I've learned that over the years. Here's the Bobby Garland, it's two inches long. Okay, and you can see that that shad's about a half inch longer and a lot bigger in girth, but that's what crappie eat this time of the year in the fall. They love a shad that size. And what I'm going to do is go to a dock right here and real simple, just use a hook and about four pound line. Okay, not six, but four because I'm going to be free swimming uh, this shad under this dock okay to catch these fish okay let's hook him up to hook I just nose hook him when I'm fishing under a dock I'll just go right through his nostrils just like that both of them and that's it that's all I do okay next thing I can't skip this shad up under here without killing him, you know, like I would a jig. So I'm gonna have to do it gentle. I'm gonna have to get real close like this and then give him one of them. And I'm gonna let that shad just free swim around. Okay. Now, I don't have that shad far back up under there, maybe six feet. But I'm going to let him free swim around under there till a crappie sees him. And when he does, that shad's going to get eat, folks. I got a crappie right here. Or it's something. I figure it's a crappie. He's done got this shad. Yeah. He 
hit it aggressive too. Now they'll hit a shad aggressive. I mean that line to jump, it'll just be thump. But look here, good, good fish right here. No question about it. Not no jack like we're looking for, but it's a good fish. Quit, quit that. Good fish right here. And uh, I don't really have but about six uh, shad. <laughs> That's the right size in here, so I may have to go hunt some more, but there's a fish. Let's let him go right here. Okay, there he goes. Just got bit right here. Fish is moving off. <clears throat> Come on in here. Come on, boy. See that shad there? He spit up. All right. There's another one. Now, I'm going to mention this right here. Pretty good fish. You can catch some trophy fish. Let's let him go right there. Watch him go by doing this. I have caught some huge crappie over the years by freelining shad. Uh, and it's limited. There are just a few times or situations that it's effective. But right now is a great way to do this. Uh, a great time to do this. Excuse me. I'm excited. Just nose hook him like that. And gently. I mean, you got to get in here with it. Cast him back up under there. There's the bite. Come out there. Come here, boy. Golly. There's a good crappie right here. Good fish. Yep, you had to have that shad, and it was a pretty good size little old shad right there. Quit, quit, quit. Let me get you unhooked here. Huh? There he is, crappie number three. Ain't a big one. There ain't no big ones under there. I don't think. We're going to see, and then again, we may pull a slab out fishing this way, like I said. It's Let's let him go. There's the bite. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, get back in here. Had to jerk him out of that dock. That's a pretty good one. They're getting better now. But when you hook a slab, come here, boy. I may have to get my net out. If they gonna get too much bigger, hey. But now if you hook a slab, which I'm going to try this evening. Uh, when you set the hook, they don't move. They don't move easy at all. Let's go up to the next dock right here and try it. Let this one rest. But we'll just kind of fish these docks real slow. And see what we can do. Uh, these fish are really... Uh, about halfway. This water is averaging about six feet. They're about three foot deep under the dock right now. Okay. That's what's going on right here today. All right, let's let that fish go. There he goes. Okay. Pulled up to a, another dock right here. Now, I'm having to select the size right here. I just caught me another batch of shad. That one right there. That's what we're looking for. Right here. That size right there is killer. Little bitty. Now, I'm using a size 6 hook right now, but I started off using a size 4. But uh, wind's blowing, so I'm going to let the boat go past this dock and I'm going to face the wind and throw the bait up under the dock and we'll see if we can catch us a crappie fish like this. There's a good position to be in. Let's just go ahead and 
throw him up under there. There's a bat my lion's feeding out. Let's see how big this one is. There he is. Come on out. Yeah, they way back up in there. <laughs> you just thought. Come on in here. Pretty good one. There you it. I tell you what, folks, these fish is wee back up under there and I'm having a little trouble. There he is. I'll quit. I'm going to show you off a little bit. Not a very big crappie, but a great technique, you have to admit. Great technique. It's a cat, a cat and mouse game, though. It's, uh, when you throw the shad in there, because it's only, he only has a hook to weight him down, he wants to run out. So the shad has to get tired enough to where he can't outrun the crappie. After a, a few times of putting him up under there, and then when he gets to that point, why well, then that crappie, the predator that he is, takes advantage of it, and boom, lights out. Ooh, 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 I was at an odd angle, but I just got bit. See how big he is. Oh, goodness. Come on out of there. Had a tough time moving that fish. That's a good fish. No wonder. Great fish. Not that two pounder was talking about, but there he is, sir. Elmer. And he's got a shad in his mouth. See that shad he's got? That size shad right there. Okay. Let's release that fish right there. Um, Let him go. That crappie jumped on that shad right there like ugly on the ape. See how big he is. I mean, he jumped all over. Get out of there. And he went way up under there too. Oh, pretty good. Is it a white crappie or a black one? It's a black crappie. Oh, blackie. Whew. Where are my plars at? I'm supposed to keep them in my back pocket. Good fish. I can't help it but throw another shad up under there. Fun cat and mouse game. Let's let him go there. Whew. I believe a fish just jumped on that. Let's see. Yeah. He just stayed put there. Good crop. Yeah. Good crop. Uh, he spit that shad out. Let's just flip him on in here. Boy, that's a good fish. As far as eating, size, that's a good one. Right there, some good fillets on that. Let's let him go right there. Watch him swim off. i tell you what, boy. Let's rig us another one. They keep biting, I'm going to keep catching them. There's another one hauling with it. Let's see how big he is. There he is. God, he's wrapped up in everything. There he's coming out. That's a good crappie right here. Big one. <laughs> Good crappie. Right here. Yeah. Come here, boy. Whew. Boat just so happened to come by and was waving at me. And I had to holler. Big one. And that's a big fish right there. That one's probably around 12 inches long. Good fish. Good fish. <laughs> Let's let him go. Easy. 
brings him back in the water there. Folks, I want to tell you I appreciate we're working almost on 10,000 subs. I appreciate y'all watching. Try this technique because you know why it works. And remember, don't fish him when you can because it's good for you. We'll see y'all next time. I guarantee you that.